This is how much money I made from poker vlogging. After filming and editing this video, I decided I wanted to film and add this segment as a really short viewer discretion for those of you who are content creators or aspiring YouTubers uh, who just stumbled across this video. I just wanted to let you guys know, um, I wish you guys nothing but the best, but this video and channel is not um, is not supposed to teach you guys how to grow your channel or how to become monetized. Um, I am a poker vlogger and this is a poker vlogging channel and this is just a topic that I thought my viewers might be interested in which is how much a poker vlogger uh, might earn from uh, making videos on YouTube. Um, you guys are more than welcome to take the information I'm going to share as reference and um, I also gloss over some topics for context for my viewers like RPM, uh, just way oversimplified. But um, yeah, uh, that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I still have not fully recovered yet um, from being sick with something, a flu of some sort. And um, yeah, I am not gonna go to any poker room while I still have a intermittent cough, even though um, I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Um, I actually feel fine. But yeah, even if it if it's gonna make uh, players feel uncomfortable, I think it's just not a good idea to go to the poker room at this point still. I'm just gonna wait few more days um, or maybe a week until I fully recover and the, at least the coughing goes away and you'll hear that my, my voice uh, still, uh, still sounds a little cracked. Yeah. So I actually uh, ran out of coffee pods and I'm craving a coffee so I'm actually getting ready to head out to Starbucks um, to buy a coffee. Yeah, it's uh, it's a one block walk away from my home, so that's what I'm going to do. And I wanted also to keep you guys updated and give you guys some content. So, I was thinking, um, what would you guys be interested in if I'm not playing poker? Well, maybe something poker related. And I thought that uh, this topic might be of interest to you guys, which is how much money can a poker vlogger like myself make? So. Uh, from vlogging poker and I am gonna tell you guys um, my numbers um, how much money YouTube paid me uh, through poker vlogging so outside right now hope um, background noise is uh, not too horrible but yeah I'm also gonna share with you guys some I guess um, inner workings of YouTube and it's a uh, harder program and this is all um, pretty new to me as well as I did the research um, while I was starting my channel and it's I found all the information really really interesting yeah but anyways uh, for the during the past couple weeks you guys actually helped me and my channel reach a new milestone and thank you so much for your support by the way i was able to reach 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours and what exactly does that mean well those two numbers are actually the qualifying numbers to apply and become a YouTube partner, which means your uh, videos will be monetized and YouTube will pay you for um, for the views you get. So, after I, I reached those numbers um, on this date, I believe, uh, April 22nd, and since then, I have been getting paid from YouTube. Yeah. So, 
um, how much. I don't know if you guys hear that. Let me just wait till that. Okay, so how much um, do you get paid from YouTube views? How much revenue can you make? Well, every channel is different because it depends on um, the audience and demographic that different channels attract as their viewership. For example, a gaming channel that consists of an audience of, let's say, only uh, mainly kids. Well, they probably don't get paid a lot because advertise, advertisers don't pay a lot to advertise to that group since they don't have a lot of spending power. And probably for every thousand views, a gaming channel um, would make like pennies. But for example, if, um, if there was a channel about um, real estate or financing, right? That's going to be a more valuable uh, audience to advertise to, and they can get um, anywhere from, I guess, per thousand views, like ten dollars or or more. So, and that number just fluctuates um, depending on advertising budgets. And um, yeah, YouTube, Google is very powerful. They have these complex like algorithms to know their viewers really well. I mean, all the basic stuff like where you're from, your age, but they also know probably what you do for a living, how much disposable income you have. Yeah, so. Uh, waiting to cross the street right now. Yeah. So it's actually a gorgeous day today um, for this walk. I think I really needed it. Uh, I needed the sunlight, vitamin D, and I am very close to my destination right now, uh, Starbucks, where I'll be heading in to order my coffee. So I guess I will be seeing you guys back at my place where I review the numbers. Okay, so let's jump into the info and numbers that you guys have been waiting for. I am now logged into my YouTube studio back end where you will see this is right here my total revenue that I have made in my first 10 days of being monetized uh, from YouTube. I have made $11.44 and as I mouse over um, this chart here, you'll see what my daily earnings were. So it started um, $0 April 22nd and then the next day I made $0.57, cents, $0.76 cents after that and then $0.44 cents, and then you'll see that it's around the same range. And then on this day here, April 28th, I uploaded a new video and you'll see a spike on that day and also the next couple days as well um, before going back down. Okay, and all of this totals to this number, $11.44. $11 and let me scroll down a little bit. Okay, right here, you will see kind of a dashboard view of um, my earnings based on um, my top videos as earners. So uh, here are my top five videos. And in this 10 day period, I got a total of 2,700 odd views. And this number right here, $4.17, that is the amount I get per 1,000 views and YouTube calls this um, uh, RPM. And this is a number that I mentioned to you guys earlier 
this is a number that ranges um, anywhere from pennies to uh, to as high as ten dollars or more depending on your channel type your category and the audience that um, your channel is attracting as viewership and yeah and this number is always fluctuating it is not static but yeah like I said anywhere from pennies to to something higher like $10 or more and for an audience like you guys um, I fall somewhere in between that at $4.17 at this moment and let me just go to see more and here you will see a more in-depth view of of my top earning videos and let's see this is my top earner at this video on its own made almost five bucks yay and if I scroll all the way to the bottom um, this video here uh, with just two views has made me almost half a penny all right and let's see what else is interesting um let's see where you guys are from so on a based on country most of you guys are from the u.s and then next in line is canada and uk and then australia so U.S. and Canada, the bulk of my audience, that is not too surprising. And yeah, the region of where my viewership is from also affects um, the RPM. So if, for example, um, most of my audience were from um, another country that had less spending power like India, then my RPM would be a lot less. And let's see what else is interesting here. Okay, this is something I found pretty interesting. Subscription status. So most of you guys, 80% of you guys, are actually not subscribed to my channel. And only around 20% of my viewers are subscribed. Yeah, so what's up with that? <laughs> And this is something that I realized that I'm also guilty of um, when, when I think about the channels and videos I watch on a regular basis. I'm actually not subscribed to a lot of them. And it's not because I uh, don't want to support them or anything like that. It's, I think mostly it's just that I forget to. And there are situations that um, uh, YouTube videos I watch that are actually podcasts, so I just um, leave them uh, playing in the background as I listen to them and do other things. And yeah, so in situations like that, I will not be navigating to subscribe. And in other instances, I'm just watching YouTube videos through my smart TV. And yeah, when I'm when I'm watching on my TV, I wouldn't navigate to subscribe the subscribe button because it's just not easy and intuitive to do that on your TV let me just see what other stats you guys might find interesting device type mm. okay yeah this is pretty fun to know most of you guys are watching on your smart TV and then next would be from your phone your mobile phone and then your desktop computer and then lastly a tablet of some sort um yeah like an ipad all right um hope you guys enjoyed this video and found the information to be interesting um yeah that is how much money i made from uh, poker vlogging in my uh, first 10 days of uh, being monetized and if I'm able to keep this rate up um, every month I will be able to have a, a few of these and that would be thanks to you guys please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next episode